I feel honored to address the budding orthopedic surgeons of the millennial generation. I welcome you all to become a part of the fraternity of national orthopedics. COVID-19 did create an unanticipated atmosphere of social distancing. However, next five to seven years of your life is the time for face-to-face -face interaction and to be educated about the science of orthopedics, which is universal, and learning the art of its application to the welfare of our people, which is an art in itself. You would be guided by your teachers and mentors and peers in this field. However, you must also indulge in what is called participative learning. When you see a patient or an image, ask yourself, what is the defect or disease? What has caused it? And what can we do to resolve it? The most effective clinical teaching and learning is in the outpatient clinics. After six to eight years, you would be almost independent, making decisions about the therapeutic choices for a particular patient or disease under the circumstances of the infrastructure where you happen to get an opportunity to work. At no stage you will get perfection in any sphere because we are homo sapiens and not gods. However, with effort, tomorrow can be better than today. Keep in view the regulatory and legislative norms of the place of your work. Your professional and societal interaction would help you evolve peaceful ambience for your life. This would almost be the time when you will be expected to be a role model for the next generation. Being mentored by dedicated seniors during the period of your study is a very precious blessing. Best outcome of mentorship is achieved in suitable training environments by the dedication of the mentors and mentee. Most suitable mentors feel proud when their mentees or students perform better than their teachers. In most of the institutions, you will come across and interact with dedicated teachers and mentors. Shared passion for teaching and learning between the mentor and mentee is the vital, is the most vital factor for success in the training period. For learning the science of orthopedics, which is a global phenomenon, and for the art of application for the benefit of our own people, which is an art itself, we must optimize the outcome of mentor and mentee teaching and learning programs. When you examine the patient, follow ethical social norms. Listen, look, feel, move, measure, and compare with the normal side. Compare clinically and compare when we do an x-ray, especially in the early stage of any disease. Develop your develop eyes on the fingertips so that you are able to palpate and judge whether the swelling is made of fluid, fibrotic tissue, cartilage, bone. Is it fixed to soft structures or bone? All this must be developed while you are undergoing an internship and training during the next four to five years. When you see a new patient in the outpatient, read about the condition before you sleep. When you get an opportunity to participate in an operation room, read the operative steps before you enter the operation table. Clinical medicine deals with living human beings. The best teaching and learning in a medical subject is achieved by face-to-face -face interaction and communication. Unfortunately, 
COVID-19 pandemic brought in, in, brought in significant restrictions in day-to-day -day activities leading to social distancing. Large group meetings have been cancelled and replaced with video conferences. Man-machine interaction, artificial intelligence and telecommunications at best serve the purpose of wider communication. The information provided by electronics does need sifting. So, don't believe everything what you get online or on machine and man interaction. Last but not the least, all you have the all of you have the potential of working and serving the society and the nation beyond 70s. However, the prerequisite for this is ethical, professional and societal activities. Self-wellness is interwoven with physical, mental, emotional and spiritual health. Put a conscious effort like about 30 minutes of physical exercise, healthy lifestyle and a biological clock of about 7 to 8 hours of sleep. Maintaining such a routine reduces stress on body and mind and keeps the biological system in optimum balanced state. Do remember, learning never ends and I am still a student. I wish you all the best. Jai Hind.